Hey what's up folks, in this project we're upgrading our motorized camera slider. This build is based off the Adafruit Feather and CircuitPython. We're using it to capture motion time-lapse video to make smooth looking shots. Like our previous build, it features the same mechanical design so it can be portable or plugged into the wall. The Feather platform makes it modular so it's easy to swap out boards using the Tripler Feather Wing. The Mini TFT Feather Wing has a built-in joystick and a screen for displaying graphics. You can cycle through the different options and select to start the slider. This way you can see the progress of the stepper motor. The build uses aluminum extrusion to support a linear rail system with 3D printed parts. A camera like a GoPro is mounted to the platform and slides along the rail. While the slider is in motion, a camera is sliding graphic is displayed on screen so you know how much time is remaining. At the end of a slide, you can choose reverse mode or back up the slider and go to the main menu. This makes it easy to kick off a new time lapse. An additional auto pan head can be used to rotate your camera while it slides. This adds more dimension to your shots. Our GoPro Hero camera features built-in image stabilization. The time warp feature helps create smooth motion while it slides across a scene. This is great because it creates hyper smooth time-lapse video. We think this is a really neat way to capture build sequences and even 3D printing time-lapses. The code for this project was written in CircuitPython by Liz Clark. You can check out her video for a visual explanation on how the code works, link is in the description. For testing and debugging, you can use the built-in serial console in the Moo Python editor. The Adafruit motor wing gives the Feather M4 motor control and it makes it easy to connect. A Tripler Feather wing keeps everything in place and makes it modular. A stop graphic is displayed on screen right before the slider ends, letting you know it's almost done. Selecting main menu will automatically back up the slider. The graphics displayed on screen are actually bitmap images, so it's easy to customize or change them out. With CircuitPython, boards show up like a USB drive so libraries and assets are easily accessible. This project uses a handful of libraries and we think this makes it easier to develop software for these type of projects. There's a bit more to this build, so be sure to check out the learn guide for a full walkthrough. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.